Hey guys, it's Joby. Uh, decided that I wanted to try to maybe make some YouTube videos. Um, so this is going to be the first one. And uh, hopefully you dig it. It's a little weird for me. I'm not really into staring at myself uh, on camera. So we'll see how it goes. But um, anyway, I watch a lot of uh, guitar videos on YouTube, obviously, and guitar equipment videos. So we're going to start out uh, my videos here by checking out my guitars. So anyway, hope you like it. Thanks. All right, so we're going to start out with one of my favorite guitars. Probably gets played more than most of the rest. This is my 2011 Fender Classic Player Jazzmaster. Uh, I mean, what else can be said? It's sexy as all get out. It sounds amazing. It has a wiggle stick so you can get your wiggle on. Just absolutely gorgeous. Rosewood board. Love, 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 love this guitar. It sounds amazing. All right, so you can see by the case probably what we got coming up here. This, if I had a number one, it would be this. This is my 2012 Gibson SG Standard. And it's an aged cherry finish. I love this guitar probably more than life itself. <clears throat> it's just, when I saw it on the wall at Guitar Center, I absolutely had to have it. I traded in like a ridiculous amount of equipment to get this guitar um, and it's the first and only new instrument I've ever bought nobody with the exception of here you go my friend you can play this nobody has played this guitar but me it's mine it's gorgeous sounds amazing it's a beast all right, so up next we have my 1994-95 Fender Japan Jazz Bass. This bass is just totally awesome, plays great, sounds great, and the, the thing about this bass that's really special is I actually picked this bass out in the 90s, probably around 90, I'm gonna say 97 or 98, for my friend Paul. And he's left-handed, so we actually flipped the bass around to be left-handed. If you can see, there's a hole for a strap button on the bottom. Um, you know, and, and I turned the nut around. Actually, I think we broke the nut when we were taking it out, and I had to cut a new one. And I didn't have files, so I literally used the strings of the bass to cut the slots in the nut, which took a lifetime, if I remember correctly. Um, but anyway, Paul eventually lost interest in playing the bass and sold this to another friend of ours, who had it for many, many years and eventually lost interest in bass as well. And it sat in a basement just getting super nasty. So eventually I bumped into him one day and I bought the bass from him. And it was in total disrepair, but I brought it home, showed it some love, and uh, now she plays great. It's just really an amazing bass and because it's uh you know kind of a family member at this point this is one of the instruments that will never ever leave my belonging until i'm dead so there you have it 94 and 95 japanese jazz bass all right next up we have uh, what i believe to be a 1973 
Matsumoko, please do not slay me in the comments if I pronounce that incorrectly, made Conrad guitar. Basically, um, some people call them Jap crap. I personally love these guitars. Uh, it's got quirks like you would not believe, but the pickups in this thing sound incredible. This is another family guitar. Um, I pretty much begged my friend Casey for this guitar. He bought it at a garage sale for like 30 bucks. Sorry, I'm getting in the light there. And uh, he had it in pieces at his house. And I said, dude, let me put that thing back together. And I put it back together. And uh, once I played it, I was just like, yeah. You know that guitar? Well, uh, that's mine now. We're going to have to work something out. But he's a good friend, good dude, and pretty much was like, yeah, man, that guitar is all yours. Um, he's just that kind of dude, and I appreciate it. Um, wacky bridge, wacky floating bridge with nylon saddles. Just, that bridge is horrible. It's as bad as it can be. But again, these wannabe P90s just rule. This guitar just sounds great, and I love recording it. And I've used it on many, many recordings. And that's it. Okay, no fancy reveal for this puppy. This is what I would consider to be my second most important to me guitar. Um, and you'll meet the first one in a little bit here. This is my Heritage H150 slash H140 Mutt. This body, uh, this guitar has a long story. I'll try to make it quick. I know I've told this before on Facebook to my friends, but I'll just tell you here as quickly as I can. Um, I got this guitar from Doug DeMott, my friend's father, when I was very young. I think I was 17 or 18. And I got this guitar for an amazing price because if you don't know anything about Heritage, these instruments are just phenomenal. You know, there's there's not much bad you can possibly say about these guitars. They're just great. But anyway, to make a long story short, when I was 19, playing punk rock and metal, my dumbass smashed this guitar. Um, it wasn't fully my fault. My bass player, Scott, at the time kind of made a left. I made a right. Our headstocks collided and my headstock snapped off. And not really knowing that you could glue a guitar back together, I picked it up by the neck and I heave hoed it. It came down right about there. <laughs> and uh, I snapped the rest of the neck completely off. So a couple years ago, um, my friend Sean told me that the guy I sold the body to, I sold this body to my friend Mike Keith who was going to chop it up and use it for wood to carve little things out of. But uh, our friend Sean told me that Mike still had the body and literally like 16 years after I smashed the guitar I bought the body back from Mike and I kept hearing this name, Arnold Haleski, um, who's a guy who lives in Richland, Michigan here, and he works for Heritage Rolling Necks. And I got a hold of him and I said, hey, what can you do to fix this thing? And he had a neck, but the neck was from a 140. And this guitar actually began its life as a H150 CM Deluxe. Um, I had gutted all the pickups and everything out of this thing and put them in another guitar that I bought after I smashed this one So it had no electronics. It was just a piece of wood and uh, I gave it to Arnold and he Somehow I mean this guitar this was this was still square But this was just a giant chunk out of the guitar. There was nothing here It was just a gaping hole and Arnold managed to piece it back together as you can see it is a total Frankenstein. And I never did anything with it. I thought about getting it refinished after Arnie fixed it. Um, you know, there's a big chip out of the neck and the neck heel isn't correct because it's a 140, not a 150. Um, but 
I can't refinish it. I just love it. I just think the Frankensteinness of it is gorgeous, and um, it's part of the story now. And uh, the story about this guitar is what makes it so special. It really doesn't play that well, to be honest with you. Um, it could use new frets. I think this neck was a, let's see what year it was. It's a C, so I think that's an 86. Um, so the neck was a couple years older than the actual guitar. But there's like, the frets are really shallow. And uh, it plays in tune, the intonation's good. I actually put a Duncan JB in the bridge because all Arnold had was a couple of like, I think these are honestly, I think this is an Epiphone humbucker. I know that had an Epiphone in the bridge and uh, that wasn't working for me. So I took it out, uh, put a Tone Pros bridge on it because the roller bridge had seized after sitting like in a parts box for 20 years or whatever, not 20 years, but a long time and it seized up couldn't get it to work again this was actually seized up too but I spent a long time getting it to function again and uh, yeah anyway I mean that's kind of the gist of it I could probably go into more detail but it's a bunch of blah 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 uh, anyway I, I love this guitar very much I also put the uh, Grovers on it it had something else on it at one point um, and it's got the stinger Come on, man. Any heritage with a stinger is freaking cool, right? So, yeah. Gorgeous guitar. I love it. Very special to me. Okay. Now, on to my prize possession, I guess. My favorite guitar. Um, this, my friends, is a Starcaster. Cheapy, cheapy, cheapy acoustic. I think it was $150. Um, my girlfriend, who is now my wife, bought me this guitar in 2006. And it is my absolute favorite instrument. Uh, there is nothing you could do to get this guitar away from me. You could not pay me enough money. Um, my wife would probably disagree. If you gave me a lot of money, she would probably be like, sell the fucking guitar. In which case, maybe you could get it away from me. I don't know. But anyway, it is beat up and cheap and sounds like a cardboard box most of the time. But it is my prized possession. I have written pretty much every song I've written in the past 10 years has been written on this guitar. And shut up, Bella. Hush your mouth. I don't need none of your crap right now. I'm talking about this guitar. So yeah, um, I just love it. It actually plays great. It took me a long time to get it to play great, but uh, the action is super crazy low, kind of plays like an electric. It's really a great, great playing guitar, and it doesn't sound that bad. I talk crap, but it really sounds pretty good. The pickup system is deplorable. It's just garbage couldn't be any worse but the guitar stays in tune really never comes out of tune has an intonated bridge which you know for a 150 dollar guitar you would i guess you would not expect that but uh it is my favorite and it's starting to actually bump up on the bridge here and you can see it's got a crack right there that is just in the finish as far as i can tell it's not actually in the wood but it's probably gonna break and when it does I'll just hang it on the wall get a different one but uh, yeah I absolutely love this instrument all right so that was all of them uh, if you have any questions about any of them or anything or um, suggestions or you want to hear one or all of them or whatever uh, let me know in the comments below and if you want to see future videos then i guess you could uh, subscribe um thanks for watching